All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to DFS Experience for Saturday, May 21st. We got an Eastern Conference final showdown. This is going to be, um, I'm going to make some hard stands on this slate because I've been feeling some things about certain players and I'm actually going to just go ahead and push the button on it. And what I mean by that is Bam, Adebayo, and Al Horford, they're, they're a bit overpriced. They haven't been doing much lately. And when... You know, as, it, as Jimmy's usage goes up, Bam goes down. Coming off of a loss, I'm pretty sure that Butler's going to, you know, be in his bag. So, I'm going to definitely play Butler, fade out of bio, and look for look for someone to compliment Butler through one of his guards. So, um, I'm, I'm going to start with Butler at captain. Gonna run him back with Tatum. Um, Brown doesn't play for me. I'm fading Bam. I'm fading Horford. Marcus Smart is absolutely in play, and he's you know he doesn't have a questionable tag. That's absolutely great. He looked healthy. He looked healthy, and that's the most important most important part. So Marcus Smart, and we can do Bobby Williams and Bobby Williams too. Another thing with um, Robert Williams, Bobby Williams. A lot of those games Horford was going in. Bobby Williams was, you know, hurt. You know, they weren't saying he was hurt, but he was playing twenty. They were watching his minutes, so that means something. Looks like you know Bobby Williams is he's playing more minutes and he's he's um he's on the floor. And if he's on the floor, Al Horford's um, fantasy production is going to come down. Well, Bobby Williams played 20 minutes this game, but the game before he played 28. So, um, and that game was a blowout anyway, so you can't really look at that. So I'm going to go by the first game, which was closer, and say that he's going to play 25 minutes plus. And if, you, if you're going to be playing Bobby Williams 25 minutes plus, then you don't really need Horford. If you want to take a stand and play Horford and, and hopes that he has a good game, you could do that. I'm not telling you to play him, but he hasn't been taking shots like that. Four shots, seven shots, six shots. You know what I'm saying? Um, Bobby Williams, 20 minutes, 17 fantasy points. 28 minutes, 34 fantasy points. Um, I just, I'm just going to go with Bobby Williams because he's cheaper. Al Horford, yes, he's going to play a little bit more minutes, but Bobby Williams' um, fantasy points per minute is a little bit higher than Al Horford's. So I'll save $400, go to Bobby Williams. And with that, you got 4100 no, you have $8,200 left, or $4,100 each player. So, there's some things you could do here with your last two spots, so. Um, yeah, there's definitely some things you could do. And the thing with Cal Lowry, Cal Lowry, um, I, Cal Lowry hasn't been looking good in months. Actually, I'm lying to you. Kyle Lowry hasn't looked good all season. This has been a horrible season for Kyle Lowry. For the games he wasn't injured, he, he mentally wasn't there. For the games that he was on the court mentally not there, he was out due to personal reasons. So he this 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 season has just been a wash for him. He can absolutely come out and, and hit six threes, but I doubt that. I think that he's useless. And um, if they don't start him and say he's available, don't play him. But I'd rather him be out so you could play, you know, play more of the guards. Um, Garrett White has been awful. Grant Williams is in play. All the depot. Pritchard's in play. Pritchard's been better than Garrett White by far. Actually, he's probably taking over, um, taking over his spot in the in, on the bench. So they're they're most likely playing Pritchard before White. Tucker. Is, has been amazing for Miami. Gabe Vinton has been amazing. Daniel Tice has been good off the bench. They've been playing Neesmith. Not, not a lot. And if you want to take a shot on Duncan Robinson, good luck. And Deadman is absolutely a tremendous player at 1800 Because you know he's going to play and you know he's going to give you something. What? You know, that remains to be seen. But he's going to give you something. Um, Deadman... Last four games, 12, 12, 11, 13 minutes. 
6 fantasy points, 7 fantasy points, 13 fantasy points, 6 fantasy points. You're looking for that 10 minute, um, 13 fantasy point. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for 10, 12, you're looking for 10 fantasy points and up. Because what that's going to do, that's going to unlock the rest of your lineup for you to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 players that you want. That you absolutely want. You throw in, you throw in Deadman and then you're good to go. But it's a, it's a risky play. Probably wouldn't do that in cash. You probably got to, you know, get more creative. Play one of Butler and Tatum. But I want to play, but I want to personally play Butler and Tatum. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to jump to FanDuel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell and thumbs up. Um, we're doing the same thing again, FanDuel. We're starting with Jimmy. First of all, the reason I'm starting with Jimmy, because I know there's going to be people that, you know, you know, everybody's not going to understand the same way. Jimmy Butler's, okay, Boston's a better team than Miami. Boston has, like, six two-way players. Tatum could play, could score and defend. Brown could score and defend. Marcus Smart could score and defend like you showed in the last game. Al Horford could score and defend when he wants to. He could score when he wants to. He could defend. And Bobby Williams, he could score and defend. And when I say score, I'm not saying that he's doing any isolation plays. I mean offensive rebounds, offensive putbacks, lobs. That's all being um, offensively aware of your situation and scoring when need to. That's a two-way player. And... Grant Williams, he hit like 50 shots that game in Phoenix. Offensive awareness, he's open, he hits the shot. And Peyton Pritchard is not a defensive player. So you got Grant Williams, Robert Williams, Horford, Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, two-way players. You know what that means? That means that when you have players like Tyler Hero and players that are, are good offensively, and not good defensively, they have to keep calling timeouts at the end of the game to get defenders in there because they're liability liability on defense. These guys on these six guys was it six guys? One, two, three, four, five, six. Those six guys on 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 Boston, you don't they they play both sides of the court well. They don't have to be swapped out. That's why on almost every Boston slate, I'm very comfortable playing. Five, six, five, the starting five, because I know they're all going to get stats, because they're going to stay there, but they're going to all play 30 minutes. Besides Bobby Williams, they're all going to play 35 minutes plus and produce. Now, that brings me to why I'm picking um, Jimmy Butler first. The reason I'm picking Jimmy Butler first, his team is not that good. His team is not, it doesn't have that much firepower. Every, if they're going to be um, competitive, everything's going to go through Jimmy Butler. Every single thing. The same way you saw Jimmy Butler um, try to try to hold a candle to the Lakers in the bubble finals. This is what you're going to get. Jimmy Butler will show up and do everything in his power to will his team to win. Bam out of body is not a good offensive player. Tyler Hero is, but he's a he's a um, liability on defense. I don't. We don't know what the hell Kyle Lowry is. Max Strus. Um, you know, he can't be great on offense. Um, Gabe Vincent, all the depots a shell. P.J. Tucker's a defender, and he can hit open shots when need be. And what else do you have? You know, who else are they playing like that? So, I'm going with Jimmy Butler. I'm going with Jimmy. I'm bringing it back to, to our new profound star that always shows up. I'm not saying that he always hits his shots so he doesn't have shooting games, but he knows he's a star and he shows up like a star every game. So you got Butler, you got Tatum, you got 9800. I don't necessarily need Jalen Brown at 1400. I'll take Marcus Smart. I'll take Marcus Smart. Um, yeah, I'll take Marcus Smart. That's 8250. And at 8250. Yeah, I could definitely get two more players easy. So, that's going to be my starting three for FanDuel and my starting four for 
um, tracking. So, hope you guys, um, hope this video helps you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.